hello everyone and welcome back to the channel i hope you all are doing absolutely well so guys in this video we are going to see actual coding questions that are asked in technical assessment round of cognizant gen c so if you are also going to prepare for your upcoming technical assessment uh, for gen c examination make sure to practice this video because we have seen that the coding questions repeats a lot of times so there are high chances that you might also get the same coding questions okay so in this video, we are going to cover two coding questions. I'm going to tell you the solution in all the three languages and you will get the links in the description box okay, of the codes, but make sure that you watch the solution first. Otherwise you will get confused. Okay. So before we start the video, if you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel as I regularly upload these kinds of helpful videos for all of you. Also, there is a complete playlist that I'm running on my channel for cognizant preparation. Make sure, make sure to check that too. So let's start with our first question. Let's look at this question. Write a program that check whether the sum of the first half of an array is less than the sum of second half. If the condition is met, the program should reverse the entire array. Finally, the program should print the resulting array. Okay, let's understand what the problem is saying us. So, for example, if we have the input array like this, okay, 1, 2, 3, 10, 20, and then 30. Okay, this is our input array. What it is saying is, we have to write a program that will check whether the sum of first half of this array, okay, first half is uh, what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay, which means first half will be this much and this will be second half, okay. So, I will write first half and then this is second half, okay. So, we have to check if the sum of the first half is less than the sum of second half. If it is, then we just need to reverse the array, okay. Let's see how can we do that. So, in this case, let's try to find out uh, what will be the answer. So, 3 plus 2 is 5, okay. So sum of first half is 5 and then 20, 10 plus 20 plus 30 is 60, okay. So, this is true, right. Sum of first half is less than uh, sum of second half. So, what we will do in our output, we will just uh, return this one, okay. The same array with the reversed one, okay, which means 30, 20, 10, 3, 2, 1. Okay, hope you have understood what the question is asking and how we have to solve. This is a pretty basic question and these kinds of questions usually come, okay. So, you have to just stay calm and try to write the solution. Let's see. See, we have created a function that is check and reverse. What we are doing is taking n, okay. n is what? n is the length of our array. So, in our case, the length of our array is going to be 6, right. So, it is going to be 6. Then, what we are doing? We are doing the sum of first half and then we are doing the sum of second half and storing in first half some variable and second half some variable. How we are summing it up? So we are using some function for that and then to take the first half of the array we are what we are doing is we are using this slice technique okay that is array of and then these uh, in this way we, we can take the first half basically okay so array of and this will give us the first half of our array okay so this uh, and by putting that in the sum function we will get the sum also so we will store that in the first half sum and second half sum in this way then what we will do we will check our condition okay if the first half sum is less than second half sum, then what we need to do? We need to reverse it, right? So, array dot reverse and then reverse the array if this condition is met. So, this way our array will be reversed and finally we will print out our resulting array. Let's consider the other case where the first half sum is greater than second half sum. So, it will not go in this uh, reverse like in this if condition. So, it will simply print out the input array itself, okay? The same array we have to print out. So, here we can see the like example usage also. 1, 2, 3, 10, 20, 30. So, we will just pass this in the check and reverse function and then we will get the output as the reversed array because our sum of the first half is less than sum of the second half. Hope you have understood the logic. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section. Okay. So, this was the Python implementation. Now, you can see the Java and C Sharp implementation on the screen. Don't worry. I will provide you the all the three codes. Okay. That is Java, C, uh, C Sharp and python code in the link in the description box make sure to check it from there okay we are not going to dive deep into these codes but it is for your reference so you can check it and understand it let's now move on to the next one let's look at this question the problem statement is count valid sub arrays of size 3 okay the problem description is you are given an array of integers containing n elements your task is to find and return an integer value representing the total number of sub arrays of size 3 whether where the sum of the first element and the third element is equal to the second element okay a sub array is a continuous subsequence of elements in an array and this is your input specification input one and input two and input one is what an integer array of size n and input t is an integer value n which is representing the size of the array 
output specification is what we need to return an integer value representing the total number of sub arrays of size 3 that satisfy the given condition let's first of all see what the question is asking and how can we implement it so here we are given an example input case also the input is going to be 1 2 1 uh, 3 5 2 4 2 and uh, input 2 is 8 okay based on this we will get the output okay i have forgot to add the output here the output is going to be 2 in this case okay let's see uh, no output is not 2 but 3 in this case okay so let's see how can we all this and what is the question asking so first let us understand with one of the inputs okay so i will take one of the arrays here okay which is this one only one two one three five two four and two now just understand first thing that what is a sub array okay sub array is an is a small part of this array okay so we can call one three five also as a sub array then we can call two 4, 2 as a sub array. Okay. So, in this way, all these uh, sub arrays are what a part of the same array. Now, the main thing is that sub array should only be of size 3, okay, which is already given to us. So, we have to see all these types of sub arrays which can be of size 3, right? Now, one by one, we will check, okay, that uh, which of the sub arrays in uh, have what is the condition that is asked. For example, let me take the first sub array, okay. And for your knowledge, how many sub arrays are possible? So, in this way, the next sub array will be this, okay and uh, the next one will be one three five okay after that the next one will be uh three five two right okay next one will be five two four right in this in this way we will have many sub arrays so you can understand and you can solve it see what is the question telling us that uh the sum of first and first element and the third element should be equal to second element such a sub array is there then we have to count that Okay, so for example, in this one, 1 plus 1 is 2, right? Sum of first element and last element is equal to middle element. So, yes, we will count this one. Let's see this one, 2 and 3. 2 plus 3 is 5, but the middle element is 5. So, we will not count this one, okay? 5 plus 1, 6, which is not equal. So, we will not count this one. 3 plus 2, 5. Yes, we will count this one. 5 plus 4, 9. This is not equal. So, we will not count this one, okay? So, in this way, see, we got already 2. Let's see if we have more. So, I have noted 5, 2, 4. The next one is going to be 2, 4, 2, right? So, yeah, this is the last one that we will have. So, 2 plus 2, 4 and then, yeah, so sum of first and last is 2. So, in this way, how much we have got? 3. So, we will output 3. Okay, that is the important thing. Okay, that is the concept that we need to follow. Hope you have understood the problem. Uh, for your knowledge, I will also give you one more example so that you get it better way. Okay, let's understand quickly one more example. So, let's take one more uh, example array. Okay, let me clear out some things. So, we are going to do the same thing on one more example array because you see understanding logic is important code can be done very easily I personally believe that so if you have understood the logic easily then you can easily solve the question so see the next uh, example that we have is 3 1 5 4 3 6 and 3 okay this is our next uh, array okay now again we have to check how many sub arrays are there in which the sum of first and last element is uh, equals to the middle element okay so first of all let's calculate uh, let's see one by one how many sub arrays the, we have in this one so 3 1 5 1 5 4 5 4 3 4 3 6 3 6 and 3 okay let's see 3 plus 5 is 8 which is not equals to 1 1 plus 4 is 5 which is equals to 5 so this 5 plus 3 is 8 which is not equals to 4 again no 6 plus 4 is 10 which is not equal to 3 so this is also not going to be the answer we will not going to count this one also 3 plus 3 is 6 yes so yes in this one we are going to count so out of all the sub arrays possible we have found out that there are two such sub arrays okay so we will output the answer as 2 hope you have now un clearly understood the logic and now let's see how can we uh, implement this okay so in your uh, test or assessment you will get this kind of basic uh, template okay where you need to implement your code from here okay let's see how we will implement our code let's see the code here so see what we are doing we have defined a count sub array function and here what we are taking we are taking input 1 and input 2 input 1 is our array input 2 is size of array okay then what we are doing we are taking the count equals to 0 initially and then we are running a for loop over our input array okay so and then we are doing this input 2 minus 2 so that we will do the calculation on one sub array okay then first element we are storing 
in first variable second we are storing in second variable and third we are storing in third variable okay that is input one of i which means the first element for example if we have something like this okay so 0 1 2 right so input of i means uh, input of 0 input one of 0 which means first variable will be stored in first right uh, first value like it will be stored here and then two will be stored in second right and then third will store third value which is one okay so in this way we will have these values then what we will do we will perform a if condition check whether the sum of first and third is equals to second or not if it is true then what we will do we will increment our count value okay in this way we will run this loop over the entire array and finally whatever we will be our count value we will return that okay so in this way we will have all the numbers of counts okay in which the first and the uh, sum of last element is equals to the middle element hope you have understood it so see here we have the example usage here we are taking this array and this is the n is the no length of the array and then we are passing uh, in in our count sub arrays function we are passing array and end and finally when we are getting the output we are getting it as three hope you have understood the logic for any doubts you can ask me in the comment section uh, also here is the java and c sharp implementation of the same code i will also give you this codes in the description box make sure to check that so that's all for today guys. I hope you found the video helpful. If you have any doubts, please let me know in the comment section. Make sure to join me on Telegram and Instagram as well. You can ask your queries in the Instagram DM as well. And if you need any content, you can request it on, your, on our Telegram channel. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done yet to receive all the latest regular updates. I regularly post off-campus drives and preparation related videos for placements on my channel. So that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching the video.